day one, straight into a tough climb, 3,900 meters up. We might be in the middle of nowhere, but I do feel strangely safe for some odd reason. couple of sections on the scramble where we'll need to sort of spot each other. There is a little bit of potential for death. Yeah, one, in one place, yeah. We pitch camp on the edge of the world. But the problem with camping on the edge of the world is there's only one way out, and that's down, off the edge of the world. Well, that was about 2,000 meters of very, very difficult descent off the edge of the world. But it does finish in this. A very overdue bath. Descended to the lowlands and somebody's left their heat turned up on max. One advantage of doing your washing halfway through a ride is you can then use your wet bib shorts as a nice cooling face pack and keep the sun off your head halfway up a mountain. Ethiopia is always a really good place to get a bit of privacy as well, well away from prying eyes. So if you're wondering what the toilet facilities are like, they look like this. And I think you find that doors on toilets are very overrated. in the morning and we've a bit of an early start because we're going up there. Rastashan, the highest peak in Ethiopia. broken 4,000 meters. We're more than halfway up the biggest mountain in Ethiopia. Pretty hard work and I don't think it's going to get any harder. In fact, if it does, I'll eat my shoes. top of Ethiopia. We're out of the mountains, no more sweating up big steep climbs. I can safely take off my cooling face pack. 
and all there is left to do is go and have something hearty to eat.